Hello YouTube and welcome to the monthly stats video for August. Uh, August has been a bit of a mixed bag. Um, it started off pretty good, um, but then it, you know, it. We we finally got some cloud and, and a bit of rain towards the end. So uh, I don't think it's going to be as good as July. But uh, let's have a look at the numbers and see where we are. So in August we managed to top the one megawatt hour mark again. Uh, which is nice. Um, yeah, 1,025.9 kilowatt hours. So yeah, pretty good. Uh, very happy with that. Uh, I think that's what three months in a row now that we've topped a megawatt hour per month. So yeah, that's fantastic. We imported just 33 kilowatt hours in August. It's usually runs at about a kilowatt hour per day and um, as I've already mentioned uh, it's it's due to this bleeding effect but uh, it still bugs me even though I know there's not a lot I can do about it it still bugs me our best day was on the 10th of August uh, here's the plot for the day uh, and on that day we generated uh, 47 and a half kilowatt hours our worst day was on the 17th of August and on that day we generated just 12 kilowatt hours. Um, it wasn't a terrible day, it's still getting some big spikes there but um, uh, yeah well down on, on uh, compared against the best day. So here is the pie chart showing where um, all the generated power came from and um, the surprising thing to me this month is the fact that uh, my grow watt one kilowatt has contributed twice as much as my uh, shed mounted solar and there's only really 200 watts more panels connected to that inverter than there is for this one um, and I think it must just be because now the sun's starting to descend in the sky uh, the panels on top of my shed here are being um, shaded by trees in uh, just sort of off in the background a little bit whereas the ones on the roof of the house are still clear of any shading so um, it just shows how much of a difference that can make here is the pie chart showing our energy mix so you can see that 96.2% uh, of all of our energy came uh, from our self generation and just 3.8% uh, of it uh, came from the grid. Uh, if you're wondering why uh, we're pulling a small amount of power from the grid even though I claim to be uh, an off-grid streak, uh, check out my video on how uh, grid, uh, grid type battery storage systems work and uh, that gives an explanation as to why there's always a small amount of, uh, of draw uh, every month. For me it seems to be equivalent to about a kilowatt hour per day. Here is the pie chart showing um, where all of our power was used for August and uh, you can see about a quarter of it went into the Tesla. Uh, about 10% or so went into the Nissan Leaf. Um, the immersion again took almost another quarter and uh, gaming took up almost a quarter as well. Um, my uh, my son will be going back to university uh, in a few more weeks now so uh, I expect that to drop soon um, and probably be uh, quite a bit lower when we come to do the uh, September stats but we'll see. And here is the pie chart that shows um, how much power we used or how much of the power that we generated we used and how much was exported and you can see that the exported amount is quite a bit larger this month than in previous months um, and that's because yeah we were on holiday um, we went to the Netherlands for a month uh, for a month for a week and uh, and obviously while there was no one in the house 
uh, there was very little power draw coming from the house and so um, once it charged up the batteries they pretty much didn't get much of a discharge and then the following day it was all just being exported so um, and obviously we had the car with us as well so it wasn't even um, it couldn't even charge the car so <clears throat> yeah that's why that that figures higher than in in typical months I usually like to have that at around 95% of the power we've kept and uh, only exported about 5% but um, yeah not a lot you can do about that one so let's have a look at the uh, electricity usage for August broken down into half hourly segments and you can see that um, we basically remain in our off-grid streak um, not pulling any power from the grid for the whole of August yeah there are a few tiny little peaks there uh, one of them was um, uh, to do with a fault that I had in my software where something jammed on that shouldn't have happened uh, but again it wasn't indicative of uh, the fact that we needed the power it, it was just a glitch uh, which uh, I have now fixed but uh, so hopefully that that one won't happen again um, but yeah there's there are a number of other uh, minor glitches that keep appearing periodically in my software and I really need to go and dig through the logs uh, and spend some time to really understand uh, the cause of them so that I can uh, so that I can fix them but it would be quite a time consuming process and at the moment I just don't have the time to uh, pour over the logs for hours uh, trying to understand what what has happened uh, so for now I have to just kind of live with them uh, but it's something I will uh, try and get to uh, get some time to do particularly maybe through the winter months when when there aren't other things that I can do um, with the evenings uh, once it's cold and dark and I'm just stuck in uh, that would be the best time for me to spend some time trying to fix that yeah so yes that's it the the um, off-grid streak keeps going uh, another month added so uh, I can't even remember how many days that is now I'll I'll uh, I'll, I'll put a uh, I'll put it around here somewhere when I've calculated what it is uh, but yeah I think um, probably when now that we're getting into September um, it's not it's not going to last much longer um, especially as we're trying to run the cars off of the solar as well um, it's just there's just not the length of day uh, enough to, to, to recover all the energy that we're using now uh, if we if we weren't including charging the cars in this then we'd be able to keep going longer but I'm trying to keep charging the cars off off of all of this as well so uh, that that is a significant amount but yeah, um, a good month, like I say, probably the last month of uh, not having to pull from the grid. Um, we'll see what happens with, because uh, my octopus prices have gone up now, my octopus go prices, so uh, we'll see what happens with my my bill now once uh, once I start pulling from the grid again to, to uh, charge the cars and things at night. We'll see how much of a cost increase that that comes out to um, with uh, with the new tariff. Um, but yeah, that's it for the monthly stats. Uh, there is uh, another video coming soon on my fossil fu getting off fossil fuel um, series. Another update video. Uh, more stuff has happened uh, for me to report on. So um, yeah, uh, if you're interested in following that one, then yeah do hang around uh, for the for the next video because uh, yeah there's some there's some more information in there some uh, some more progress has been made so okay that's it for this month um, yeah thanks for watching uh, please do like comment share subscribe and uh, I'll see you all in the next video cheers mm -hmm.